Good afternoon. We are glad you get to join us back at the Bahiruda International Stadium as match day 25 of the 2021-2022 Bird King Ethiopian Premier League continues to gather momentum. No world of champions brings you a battle between Mesai Teferi's Crocodiles and Segai Kidane Mariam's Stonabees. It is a big one. This one is the Danguza Derby. Yeah, I've got to be very careful. Here it is given away again. Picked up by Ahmed Hussain. Big early chance in the opening minute here for Ahmed Hussain as he looks for goal number six of the season. Well, you might have Abtamu Negusi and Indris Said as the two attacking midfielder, but one thing that they have to really put tabs on is that half space that has been left not more than once, I mean more than once to Endalka Chumesvin. Oh, this is a huge mistake. It's been given away to Ahmed Hussein, who is rushing into the area and almost getting it past Biniam Genetu. A huge, huge chance handed out on a silver platter to Ahmed Hussein. Should have done better than this. Oh, what is he trying to do? He's actually giving the opponent a pass. And look at Hussein. He has realized that the goalkeeper is off his line and he just wants to chip the ball, only that he didn't have the precision. But that is danger looming. This is a good speculative ball and almost a save was needed by Biniam Genetu. Oh, quite speculative then from out wide. <laughs> and this one could have ended in the back of the net, Gilbert. Well, I think he was trying to bring a, a pass. He, he was trying to find uh, Ahmed Hussein. And uh, of course, the goalkeeper is off his line. The ball is dipping just at the right moment. Abuna Bekele would have been credited for that goal. But I'm not sure he was hitting that ball to the net. You're right, Darwin. That's a better ball coming into the box, and this time very easy for the goalkeeper. Yeshak Chegen almost crossed the white line with this one. If he was uh, on his own line, close to goal, is they could have had an own goal here. How dramatic would that one have been? Well, you would say that that is close to poor goalkeeping. When you're holding on to that ball, you have to make sure that you're not facing your other side of the goal because easily the ball could easily get off your hands and roll into the net. You need to turn and face uh, where the ball is coming from. Sintayu goes up, misses it. It's picked up by Yari Dawit. Closely tracked by Bernardo Cheng. This is Sintayu Mengistu. Trying to speculatively trick Yishak Chegen. You could see what his idea was, even though he had an option of a white shot inside that box. This could have ended up anywhere, Gilbert. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Good cutback by Yari Dawit. Again, I think Mengistu had already seen exactly where he wanted to put the ball. Only that Jisak Tegen was on point. Here is Jared delivering a big one into the box, looking for anyone in white. Uh, touch seems to have come off Anthony Guxa, but not strong enough to trouble Jisak Tegen. Well, look at the number of yellow shots. No one literally marking Guxa. But again, there was no power behind that ball. The direction is there, but there was really no power. I'm not sure whether he was expecting that ball to land exactly where he was. But again, those are pensive moments for Arbamich Ketema. Now I've been to show me. Floats one in, and there's a big chance. Almost going to the back of the net by Shanafi Elias. Oh, big chance. Good cross in there, Deku de Bebe. And Antena Guxa caught ball watching. Abinet should have shown Ashanafi. He did so, but Ashanafi should have converted. That's a good one. That's a good lad. Again, nicely floated ball there. Look at him. He knows where the goalkeeper is near post because he wants to swing that ball right over the goalkeeper into the upper 90 and that's a golden opportunity yeah he's a big chance now in the final closing minutes it's been given away and almost turned in by bereket that's a huge miss i think he must have taken his eyes off the ball if he had total concentration there he would definitely be putting that ball not where the goalkeeper is standing and they'll catch one seat through the center Picks up the position right next to him is a Shanafi Elias. Oh, struck that one well. A huge save from Biniam Genetu off the upright. Seconds on the clock, and Walaita Dita uh, looking for a crucial winner here. They first had to defend, and the chance to launch it forward will not count as uh, that huge chance in the last few seconds of this one from a Shanafi Elias easily could have given Arba Minch. Uh, three points, but look at that again. What a save! A tip of the fingers from Biniam Genetu having that one onto the crossbar from Ashanafi Elias. What a game! The credit goes to Biniam Genetu for keeping Tegai Kidane Mariam's side in this game. Full time, no goals from uh, the Baherda International Stadium between Arba Minch and Walaita Dicha.